If you have reached this lesson, you have understood the logic of drawing. It's not about how you draw, but how you see your mistakes and draw without errors, and how you improve yourself. We are in the learning phase of the advanced stages of drawing. Why is drawing the hand important? It is among the more difficult forms to draw. It has many different shapes and is a structure covered with bones and muscles with moving parts. For now, drawing examples of hands in different positions will be useful for us. The function of the hand, like holding an object, is at an advanced level. It is an inevitable situation. It is normal for the model we draw, whether it is a photograph or an imaginary figure, to be connected to something. When holding an object, various elements such as the connection with the object and the different materials will come to the fore. For now, practicing this will help us with the whole figure. If we create examples from as many different angles and positions as we can, it will benefit us. Hands in different positions and angles can present situations that create optical illusions. Solving these will help you easily resolve perceptual errors in different situations. To start the drawing, we will draw the hand's position by using our pencil softly. Reference lines will be very helpful for us to see where everything is in the drawing. These are called research lines. Research lines are for helping us see the correct lines, meaning at this stage, there may be incorrect lines. How should we start with research lines? For example, how much space does our drawing occupy? Let me give an example with fingers. I'm just giving an example. You can do this from any point you want. You have determined the location of one finger. You can draw on your paper the distance and angle of the other finger or fingers as lines. It is important that we apply this method to the entire drawing. Fingers, the bottom part of the hand, the top part of the hand, the connection point with the arm. Where is it? And at what angles does it stand? You can also determine this as a line, and then you can add dimensions. That is, you can give the thickness of the hand and fingers. Right now, we can see the whole drawing. Everything should be in its place so that it does not mislead you. In this control, we draw the areas we clearly see. We are currently seeing the drawing with our research lines. If we cannot see it, what we need to do is increase our research lines. How will we do this? By determining the points we see correctly. For example, I am drawing where the thumb connection will be, where the line on the top part of the hand will be, the size of the fingers, the connection of the fingers with each other, and making slight shadow touches to the shaded areas. You are now clearly seeing the progression of the drawing you are making. At this stage, you can see the incorrect lines. This is the best time to correct them. After placing the correct lines, we can clarify them with distinct lines. Apply distinct lines throughout the drawing. Do not use a single line technique. You can darken it step by step. Add line effects to shaded areas. Feel that you are forming the drawing. You have no reason to finish quickly. You are in the learning phase. Don't say to yourself, let me do it quickly and correctly. Try to enjoy it. Seeing it come together will be a great contribution to you. When adding shading, it is a correct method to spread it generally. Increase the darkness step by step. Where we are approaching the final stage of the drawing. In this stage, we will darken the connection points of the lines. For example, the curved areas and the points where the fingers touch each other as lines. Even though they touch as lines, in reality, they do not touch each other. The fingers are positioned in front of or behind each other. As you continue drawing, you will understand where you need to make artistic dark touches. What do I mean by artistic touches? Creating dark tones in areas that are not actually connected 
but are connected by lines, pressing the pencil down while making soft movements and creating short segments according to the flow of the form. If we consider that there are round shapes and curves in the form of a hand, for example, the top part of the finger, its side and the inside, all of these connect to each other in a circular way. You should convey this feeling so that each line you draw is in harmony with the form, revealing where the form turns and where it is round. People tend to perceive forms as they know them. The fewer lines you use to convey this perception, the more skilled you are. It's sufficient to achieve this with shading. When we look at the final version, there should be a feast of different line tones, light lines, intense lines, and strong lines. These elements give flavor to the drawing. We will continue with new examples in future lessons. Please continue with the lessons to improve yourself. Do not let not being able to draw well discourage you. If you could not draw well now, I know that you will. Don't say, I drew very well, if you didn't. Even after years of drawing, sometimes my drawings don't turn out well. I strive for them to be good, and sometimes I start again, progressing more carefully through the stages. The spirit of drawing is so sensitive that your mood is definitely reflected on the paper. There are moments when I feel this, and then I tell myself that I will continue drawing later. And then, maybe a few hours later, or the next day, I continue. But don't extend the duration too much because you have started to warm up during the learning phase and your knowledge is becoming integrated. Don't stop this process. Once you have learned to draw, even if you don't draw for many years, you will definitely not forget how to draw. Allow your hand and brain to warm up with a short practice. Thank you for watching. I would be happy if you subscribed.